Hey guys, Crew Blonde with I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Naruto Shippuden. Last time, Toby was doing his Jar Jar impression. Mm -hmm. Just barely getting out of all okay. those things, right? Like, I think he's, ah! he, he's at his limit. He doesn't get stronger than this, right? I, mean, I guess what? That's pretty much it. Toby That's does all not. Toby is. Toby will not get stronger than this. You're correct. <laughs> but Madara has not made his presence known. Just Toby. Just Toby. Yeah. Uh, well, what about the shark skin versus the whatever the other sword's called fight? I don't remember the other swords. I, I'm sure it has a name. But uh, Samahada. That's the name of shark skin. <laughs> I just wrote down. I looked down. Sword name. I was like, I got. It. I got you, buddy. I got it right here. <laughs> But, yeah, they're fighting, and uh, Itachi is is there. Mm -hmm. He is there, and, there. He, and Sasuke is heading towards him. So, uh, uh, an actual confrontation with the, of the brothers, maybe? We'll I don't see. Know. We could just turn the birds again. We don't know. Well, we got confirmation that the third user was Madara, which we pretty mm -hmm. much figured already. Yep. And the, we, the only thing that we really got that was new on that... Front, I think, was that they also assisted in the taking down of the Achiha clan. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was another was involved. Do you think Madara was the Anbu Black Ops person we saw masked there, or not? There was like they said something about like if you don't do this, we'll be if forced you don't, to take action. If you don't decide, yeah. we'll be forced to take action. Like, ah, no, I can do it. I can do it on my own, or something like that. Yeah. So maybe he had a paper. That he was looking at. I don't know if that was something different or if that was just the, mm -hmm. uh, like the note. death note. I think from, it was. I think it was the death note. But in the theory, suicide note. I wonder if. I wonder then if he did kill him or if. I mean, I guess so. That's the idea of how you get the eye, right? Is that you have to kill him? But I don't know if Madara could have been there as well. Yeah, I mean, he could have been there. He could have like or been there instead. Even. Done the note thing. Yeah, he could have like covered it up with the he, note. Yeah, maybe. he could have helped out in that way. But uh, Sasuke, Itachi, Itachi, mm -hmm. actually landed the the killing blow. We always, I mean, I think we've always talked about. We've always suspected like there's more to this story. Like Itachi did this for a reason that he's not saying. Is kind of the feeling you get. Sure, but. I still don't see it. And when we do see it, will it... Do you think it'll justify at all? Or just rationalize? You like, don't... did he save the entire Leaf Village yeah. by sacrificing... Well, because yeah. I did this, the world's not over. Yeah. Like, it, their dad was like, you know, you are the... You are the line to the nerve center of the village. Mm -hmm. Like, was the Uchiha clan... Like, they were one of the original founders of the clan. Like, were they one of the founders of the clan so that they could spy on the Leaf Village and they were actually loyal to one of the other ninja villages? And, you know, someone found out and then, like, or, like, Madara was, like, a dissenter from the Uchiha clan and he decided, hey, like, I really like the look of this Itachi kid. Let's try to get him in and, like wipe out this threat to the Leaf Village all in one night, and actually they were doing, like, the correct thing, but it just looks like, you yeah. know, like, genocide sure. from the position of Could, I mean, Sasuke. something worse have happened to the Achiha clan if Itachi didn't kill them all mercifully? Sure. Like, they, like, like, it's like if they're all going to they die, at least they're not going to die torturous month-long deaths or something. I don't sure. know. Sure. Was there, like, some kind of pact that they had with some other entity some yeah. demon or or beast or yeah. something that could have caused the destruction of the leaf village or you know been a, a worse fate for all of them than just yeah. being executed i don't know yeah i feel but like there's it, something more there it would have been like the leaf village was that threat because the ochia clan was always like he said the like the police force protecting the village kind mm -hmm. of thing and i feel like most of them would have given their lives to protect the the Leaf Village. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you could have something where, like, the whole village was at stake. Yeah. But if we take out the Achia clan, that won't be there anymore. Sure. But I just don't know what exactly that can't. could entail to be. And no one can know the real reasons. But either way, like, I don't know that Madara would have been on the good side of it, though. I mean, he... he we know that he, in the elder days, he started this thing, and now we know that he's the de facto leader of the Akatsuki. And we know he's the actual leader, but... 
Not yeah. only did Kotsky see it that way. Yeah, Pain though, <laughs> sure. who also has like this element of like uh, not give everyone being a bad who weapon think, and everyone will yeah. destroy everything. So I just don't know what to expect from the Akatsuki of like sure. what is their intrigued. overall goal? Is it close to what Pain wants? Or yeah. does Madara have a different goal mm-hmm. or I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Also, it could just be that we take down all these people that can get this special eye and then we are some of the strongest people that can exist and there aren't others that can be as strong as us. But I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I think it makes it more compelling if Itachi has some kind of, like, there was a good behind all this bad. I just don't know what that is. Yeah. And what will Sasuke think of it? Like, yeah. was he having to play off the idea more so of this clan is, you know, worthless and not going anywhere kind of thing that he said yeah. to the guys in the street? Whenever Sasuke showed up, he changed his tone. Was there a reason for that? He was like... I feel like he would have wanted him to hate him then, yeah. but he seemed to not and change his tone and then sit there and think and think and think and then went out and killed everybody, but then didn't kill Sasuke. Was he trying to think of what to do about his brother because he didn't want to kill his brother? That's possible. You know, I mean, so he didn't want his brother to look at him as like this evil thing until he decided like, this is the route I'm going to go. I have to be the certainly evil. certainly felt like he loved his brother a great deal and he didn't want to have to do this, but if he was going to do it, he was going to leave... Sasuke alive and try to make him as as strong as Sasuke could be. Like if you I can always get be str- there for you, even as an obstacle. Like yeah. if, if he can get strong enough to beat Itachi, then that's getting closer to being able to stop whatever else there is, right? Like if yeah. you can be stronger than me, yeah. I'm already strong, but you could be stronger than me. And like maybe better. maybe Itachi was brought on by Madara to like maybe it was more of a sinister plot, but Itachi didn't have a choice in it so much like either it's the entire Uchiha clan gets massacred Itachi included or Itachi does it and he survives and he can save his brother Mm. and set his brother up one day to be able to to defeat Madara because Itachi knows that he's not strong enough he can make it Sasuke strong enough I wonder if where we're leading up to like I don't want Naruto to take out Itachi I feel like I want Sasuke to fight him Yes. Right? Like, if this isn't done, if there's going to be more fight, I want it to be Sasuke and Itachi fighting. Yeah. I want Naruto to take um, out Pain. I think Naruto taking Enjoy out Pain's this. fine. When we get up to the point of having Madara, uh-huh. like, I don't know if I'd rather that be, like, with a leader of Akatsuki who's capturing all these tailed beasts, let's use Naruto to fight him. Or should it be Sasuke? I think it depends on how this story thread mm-hmm. unravels more and yeah. what I want out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, we need to defeat all the Akatsuki. Yeah. But a lot of the other guys, like, I don't necessarily care who takes out Kisame. I understand. Or yeah. who takes out Trapinch. Uh, is that is that Sue, I think is his name. What about Karen? Is Sue, yeah. Karen. Uh, she's Karin? not Itachi. Karin. Uh, <laughs> she's not Itachi. I don't know. The thing with that one and Pain Itachi. is that they both had that Jiraiya connection. Yeah. So if Naruto takes them out, it's like he's yeah. fulfilling what, you know, whether it was a downfall mm-hmm. of Jiraiya or whatever. Like, he's... Like, Jiraiya's death, realizing that, oh, Naruto is the one I will have make change. Like, that's the one that was my apprentice. But him taking out those two might be poetic to that. It's just the Madra is at a point where I just don't know where that should fall. Because I don't feel like I really know what their true intentions are. You know what I mean? I don't really know what they're after. Is it what Pain's after? Or is Pain after its own? Like, I feel like all the Akatsuki are after their own things. And then also just kind of agree that the Akatsuki are doing this nine-tail things because it is beneficial in some I mean, ways. There's, a, there's gotta be a reason that he's keeping his identity a secret from all of them except for. Yeah. yeah. Like, is he is he gonna try and usurp the Akatsuki? Who? Um, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. It'd be nice if it was something like, as long as a single Uchiha survives, Madara cannot die. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, he's like a ghost freak <laughs> kind yeah. of thing. So then Itachi recognizes that, kills all the rest of the, the Uchiha. Uchiha, and then creates one more powerful than him to take him out. And that's the fight. I don't know. Uh, well, that's kind of what I was saying before. Yeah. The, the, the one thing that, you know, obviously he felt earnest when he was talking to Sasuke after the massacre, but before when he was speaking to his Uchiha peers, like he felt like he was being a little more honest with his true feelings to them before Sasuke spoke up and said, hey, don't do this. And then he bows. But he was kind of talking about the Uchiha's failures when it comes to obsession and obsessing over things. 
And it's just interesting to me that he fosters that obsession in Sasuke. I mean, that's all Sasuke thinks about is revenge on his brother. Sure. And he has he, no other goals or life points at all, you know? Yeah. He didn't have to show him, you know, mm-hmm. the, the entire village or his yeah. entire clan being murdered by Itachi. But yeah. Itachi chose to show him all of that stuff mm-hmm. to trap him and not give him a choice of knowing it or not. This thought was interesting. To, to fuel that, yeah, like that obsession, condemning his clan for this these obsessions, and then fostering it in the one that he spares. I just, I wonder if there's anything there, or if it's just breadcrumbs, I don't or know. like concentrating it. I don't know. I felt more like concentrating all the obsessions into yeah. one person. I felt more like he was building up what his uh, goal or whatever was meant to be, but Sasuke yeah. interrupted it. Yeah, he doesn't get to it. Yeah, final so I don't even know if he necessarily believes all the things he's saying, mm-hmm. but if it's like a thing that he has to push to make him be willing to kill yeah. all the clan, you know? Like, that's one of those things, yeah. too, where like he could just be trying to, I need to push this into my mind, and this is what I'm doing, this is why I'm doing it. But he may not necessarily believe all that, too. That's why he's so conflicted staring at that note when Mom gives him dinner. You know? Yeah. Of like, I don't know that I want to do this, but I guess I have to. And what is my what do I what's my end goal or I don't know. Is this like the biggest and longest running like mystery in the show? Um, I mean obviously there's like where did the tail bees come from? Yeah, you know, that the the bigger tail. stuff. But in terms of like, you know, character choices, things that have happened in the history and coming to a head with our main characters in the current timeline, like this seems like it's gonna be like I hope <laughs> in the next 10, 15 episodes, this is what we're are you, going are to... Are you counting from the beginning of us learning about it, or the beginning of it happening in canon? Uh, just our experience watching Naruto. Like, is this, like, the longest-running, like, big mystery for us? It feels like it is. Because I think right now the mystery of who Naruto's father is uh-huh. has run longer than this has... Sure. But so I far. But I haven't wondered about it that long. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, this, if yeah. it doesn't get answered soon, I'm sure we'll surpass that sure, time yeah. frame. But I'm just, I, there's, I'm just excited for that. No. I, I, I want like to see, things. I want to see, like, because, I mean, this is, like, what, the at least the second, maybe third time we've seen some of these conversations. I think it's, know? like, the, yeah, at least yeah. the third time yeah. that we've Over the seen, course like, of years of watching that, it. But, that whole... Like yeah. Itachi turning bad and killing everybody mm-hmm. sequence. Yeah. I think the longest running mystery in the show has been what Kakashi looks like under that mask. You're right. That's the longest running mystery. I guess I should say one that I think is going to be answered. Because I don't think that's Well, you can't keep moving the goalposts on me, dang. Well, why? <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Naruto Shippen and with us. We have questions. I'm sure you got the answers. We ain't getting them from you. We're getting them from this art. We're going to be checking out more art uh, in the future. So make sure you subscribe. And if you want to check out four more arts at blindwave.com, you can right now with Blind Wave Beyond.